What's up everyone? Today I got a unit here with code 123 for injector manifold pressure voltage. That sensor is located right back in there on top of the manifold. So I'm gonna have to remove the intake box here to get a better view of that thing and be able to get it to test it, see what's going on. Here's our code accompanied with the D rate. So let's test the voltage going to the sensor. If everything is good, then we have a failed intake manifold pressure sensor. Alright, well there's a sensor. And oh it's like the the connector locks broke. Someone's been in here and has it, have it secured with a zip tie. Okay, and here is the intake manifold pressure sensor. Someone's been in here, got it secured with a zip tie, so the clips probably broke on the connector. But it's not coming out of there, it's tight. So we're gonna check our wiring. And uh, I wanna replace this connector though to get it on there properly. So the connector looks good, no corrosion in there. I'm just gonna test for an open or loose pin here, which I got the right uh, tester number here which is Cummins number uh, 529-9368 so this will test to see if these pins have the correct amount of drag on them which if I'm able to yeah I got a little bit of resistance there so that's good this one got resistance this one resistance and this one so yeah these uh these pins are tight and i did notice the lock is actually there and good when i cut that zip tie um, the connector was still in there nicely so i don't know why that zip tie was on there but yeah this connector is good so now i'll test the circuit and how it's labeled is one starting here to four four being your ground one will be our signal Two for the uh, intake manifold pressure. Two is going to be our 5 volt reference, and three is going to be our signal for the uh, temperature, because this is a, this is a combo sensor, it measures temperature and pressure. So what I'm going to do is actually jump pins one and two, and see if our code changes. You got to wait about 30 seconds or so. See if our code changes to one, two, three. If it does then uh, we know we have a good circuit and that our intake manifold pressure sensor is bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump these two and then see what we get. All right, got the sensor jumped. If you have two of these, use them. I don't, I only have one. So what I've done is I just took a regular wire and I stripped it back and I got only a couple strands of the wire in there so it doesn't split that terminal. But as you can see, oops, it updated. Now I'm getting code 122 indicating that the signal voltage in the harness is good and code 123 went inactive now I have this active code that came that's only because the connector is unplugged so it's throwing a manifold temp code so this is the bad intake manifold pressure sensor and that's the diagnostic for that clear the code and then your D-ray will be good and uh, after replacing the sensor and you're all set